Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Game Brand Fighting Championship! Live from the Biloxi Community Center in Biloxi, Mississippi, let's get this party started. Please welcome our opponent from the blue corner, Eric Thompson. Now, 35-year-old Eric Thompson, who ended up breaking his hand at BKFC 16 against Ryan Jones, making his first appearance, opening us up here on Game Bread Fighting Championship and the Bare Knuckle TV app. Slidell, Louisiana. And goes way back. Training with UFC veteran Rich Clemente since he was 18 years old. Man, talk about dogs. Rich Clemente is, what is a dog of a dog. Uh, he's called the genetic freak, and he better be. Uh, he broke his hand three months ago at BKFC. So, you know, if that hand is healed and he's ready to go now, he is a bit of a genetic freak. His game plan tonight said he wants to inch his way in, take his time blocking, said he learned a lot from his first bare-knuckle bare fight at BKFC 16. Gonna cut the distance, close the distance inch by inch, and gonna not, not attack so much in the beginning, just inch his way forward and take his time. Well, he's wearing his jujitsu belt to the cage, so it may give some indication as to his game plan. But he's not afraid to throw. I mean, 27, on record, 27 mixed martial arts contests, couple of bare knuckle, couple of boxing. I mean, he's uh, he's been around, so yes. He might like to submit somebody, but he also might like to try out his knuckles on their chin. And should also note, he came in uh, about 15 pounds overweight, but Mahmoud Sabaya elected to take the fight, said, I would fight you if you were 100 pounds overweight. <laughs> and now, please welcome his opponent from the red corner, Mahmoud Sabaya. <laughs> Yeah, literally when they announced the weight, uh, the genetic freak said, I'm sorry, you know, I got this on it, and he was sort of explaining it. And Sebea, or Sebi as you guys call him, uh, literally was like, I don't care about weight, man. <laughs> it's literally what came out of his mouth. Mahmoud Sebea will actually celebrate his 29th birthday on Father's Day on Sunday. Four-time Arab wrestling champion, five-time Africa wrestling champion, former Egyptian national team member, who spurred, spurned basically the Egyptian Olympic Federation, exposed some corruption, said, I will never compete for my country again, at least for the Federation. Said, I still love Egypt, yep. but I'm giving up wrestling. I'm flipping to MMA. We've watched both of his fights. This kid is explosive and has a great future in this sport. Coach, you see him in the gym, correct? Uh, he spent some time in our gym when he first started to tip his toe into the waters of MMA. He's now training in the gym in Miami that he, he elected to go to when COVID struck. But uh, I will tell you something, uh, Thompson might go by the nickname the uh, genetic freak, but I'm telling you right now, Sebi is a genetic monster. This guy is a physical specimen. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, here we go with our next bout of the evening. Brought to you by our friend at El Recordo Mezcal. This one is set for three five minute rounds in the welterweight division. And when the action starts inside the cage, our referee, Mr. Frederick Griswold. And now, let's meet our fighters. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Standing five feet seven and weighing in 188.4 pounds. A 35 veteran representing Rich Clemente Fighting Systems and fighting out of Slidell, Louisiana. Please welcome the bare knuckle war daddy, Eric Thompson. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Standing five feet 11 and a half inches tall. He went in 175.4 pounds. Tonight, he comes to the cage with a professional record of two wins and zero defeats. Representing MMA, MMA Masters and fighting out of Miami, Florida, please welcome the former two-time Olympian, Mahmoud Sabaya! Sabaya versus Thompson. 
the genetic freak now known as War Daddy, Bare Knuckle War Daddy. Hey, man, dig it. Uh, he said that's because he, he now has eight children. Our tail of the tape Fair tonight. Enough. Sabaya and Thompson. Yeah. Well, whether, you know, you can tell by looking at them, the story here, among other things, is going to be length. And when you've got a wrestling Olympian with the range on the outside, he can keep you away till you push. Then when you push in, he goes to the body lock and you go to the floor. And that, that will be the plan here, I would assume, from Sabaya. Four-inch height advantage for Sabaya and the two-inch reach. And that's exactly it. Out from the outside, you use the reach, and then you use it to get inside, penetrate in, and get control. 15 pounds over would often be an advantage in this department, but probably not in this scenario. Now, not, not in the case when you have a guy with over 1,800 career wrestling matches. No, that's not that. <laughs> Effortless so on the takedown. Effortless on the takedown. Yeah. And now you got Sebi on top, and he's been training as the ring announcer Sebi. That man masters, which means Daniel Valverde is giving him his jujitsu tips, and that guy is an absolute beast in his own right. So I expect Sebi to look pretty good in this area. Yeah, yeah. M MMA masters: Colby Covington, Anthony Martin, Ricardo Lamas. Look how chill he is on top. It's time to test the bone here. Yeah, test the strikes. That's what you want to do early if you get the chance in a dominant position, and that's what Sabaya's doing. Heavy elbows, just like his last fight in Icon 7. And that one ended quickly. Do we get more of the same tonight? And that's it! One minute, 15 seconds I into this thing. Oh. One week ago, it lasted one minute, nine seconds. This week, one minute 17. So in two minutes and 26 seconds, he adds two wins to his column. Prior to which he had one professional fight going up against a guy with over 30. Yeah. Man, this kid's something. I'm going to ask him about it when we get into the cage. But, you know, he was also so chill when you saw him walking around. Just, you know, almost that it's choiceless awareness. He just knows how this is going to go and just allows it to happen. Egypt and the USA. Third professional win for Mahmoud Sabaya. And how about an early birthday present? Two days shy of his 29th birthday. This is a kid to keep an eye on. And then to also want to fight bare knuckle, man. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee, Frederick Griswold, called a halt to this bout at one minute and 19 seconds of round number one. Due to a verbal tap, declaring your winner, Mahmoud Sabia! Now wanted to come out striking, bring it down to the ground. He did just that. Mahmoud Sabia! My man! What is that, two minutes and 25 seconds in the last eight days for two big wins? Is that correct? Yeah, I just fought on, uh, on Icon. It was on the UFC Fight Pass last Friday. And I got this call. Figured George Masvidal, game prep promotion. I was like, okay, I like it. Bare knuckle, bare knuckle. Leave your gloves at home. And then we love to do this shit. So I'm here, fighting anytime, anywhere. Yeah, man, it's a whole different thing. Like, we're talking Olympic caliber, Olympic level wrestling, that's one thing. We're talking MMA fighting, it's another. Did you have any intimidation going bone on bone here tonight? I mean, I didn't have any time to show my, showcases my skills, but we're moving forward. Now I'm three and oh, he have 27 fights in his record. I have only two, but if there is fights every week, I will fight anybody, so. That's how we do it. Well, congratulations, man. Super dominant. You're a guy to keep an eye on. Ladies and gentlemen, Mahmoud Sabaya.